this video for the Poppins bag, I am going to show you how to put the zipper on the top of your bag. The zippers that we use are by Annie's zippers. They're 30 inch double zippers with two zipper pulls on it. And what we do is we fold that zipper in half and we mark, and I just mark with chalk, a spot right in the middle of both sides. We are also going to use a binding. And you are going to pin your binding, this is a typical binding, two and a half inches wide, uh, folded in half right sides out. Pin your binding all the way around the bottom of, it, of your bag, overlap the beginning and the end by a quarter of an inch, and then put the short ends together, whoops, like this, and stitch across. Then you're going to refold it, and you're going to mark it in a few places. You're going to mark right on that seam line. Oh, and also, one of the things I forgot, you want to open that seam so that the fabric lies flat on both sides of the seam. So mark that seam line. You're going to mark directly across from that seam line. And then you're also going to mark the center on both sides. And those will be, be your guidelines on how to pin the binding on the top of the bag after we've pinned the zipper on. To pin the zipper on, and I'm using a very coordinated pink zipper on this, and that's simply so that you can see it. Uh, normally I would use a black. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to lay the zipper on the top of the bag right side up so the zipper teeth are, uh, the zipper pulls are up. Then you're going to take your zipper and I've already pinned it on the other side. You're going to take your zipper, pull it to the side, flip it over so that the chalk line on the zipper matches the center seam, the center line seam of your bag. So just pull it over and I've chalked the center line seam so you can see it. Normally, um, I would just have a pin there. You're going to start pinning there, and you're going to pin all the way to the edge. Now, you want to pin with your pin heads facing down so you can pull them out as you sew. So pull the zipper nice and tight as you pin. And then you want to pin straight up. Pull it nice and tight, pin straight up, I'm going to turn this a little bit, pull it nice and tight, and pin straight up. Now when you get to the end, you want to angle your zipper down so that um, your zipper actually comes out of the binding, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So. Go to about one inch before this center seam line, and the center seam line is right here. Pin on that spot, and then angle your zipper down, and pin it. That will keep it in place. So the end of your zipper, when you, when you look at it, your zipper pull is going to be facing out and you're angling down these two sides. I'm going to angle this one down a little bit more so it matches the other side. So like that. Then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to put your binding on top of your zipper. So take the uh, the seam, let's see if I can find it, there it is right there. This is the seam where you sewed your two uh, ends together, that seam you're going to place right on top of your side seam. And it's important because we're going to open that seam in a bit. So pin it again. Oops, I need to put the binding up and around the bag like that. Pin 
pin it. Again, your pin heads are facing down. Then you're going to go around and remove the pins from your zipper and pin your binding on. Remove the pins from your zipper and pin the binding on. You're going to go all the way around and the only pins that you are not going to remove are the pins at the very end that are pinning where you're angling the zipper down. So leave those in place. The other thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you match the guidelines on your zipper to the center front and back and also match this guideline to the side seam. So you'll match your side seams and the center line on the front and back with your marks on your zipper. So go all the way around and pin that on and then once you've got it pinned on I'll show you this in just a second. Okay. You're going to sew your zipper on with a quarter of an inch seam. You're going to go all the way around and the end will look like this. That's where you angled your zipper down. Double stitch over where you angled the zipper down because that would be a stress point in your zipper. So just double stitch here and double stitch here and just keep going all the way around. The next step is you need to pull your zipper, your binding, to the inside of the bag. And when you do that, you want to pull it so tight that your zipper actually stands up like that. So I'm going to pin this one on the outside and then I'm going to turn it and pin it on the inside because you'll actually be sewing from the inside. So I'm going to turn this around like this and you're going to pull it so that that seam allowance and the full binding is towards the inside of the bag. You want to try and do that as straight as you can. As you're doing this, check to make sure that you have caught the edge of your zipper in your binding and in your stitching. So this is a good time to check that. So pin all the way around so that it's nice and even and tight. Once you pin it, you may have to go back in spots and just even it out. So you've pinned that on. The next step is we're going to stitch twice all the way around on this binding and I'll show you that. So here is a bag with the zipper already sewn in. Now notice how I've sewn just below the seam allowance. You want to sew below the seam allowance because the seam allowance is too thick to sew through. Then you'll sew all the way around, just below that seam allowance. And then you're going to sew another uh, row of stitching at the edge of the fold of your binding. That creates a channel for you to put your stay in. Once you've stitched that line all the way around, the final steps to your zipper is to put your tabs on the end of the zipper and then if you want to place uh, make some bows and tie them onto the uh, zipper poles so that it's easier to pull the zipper and that's it